Hello, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. Well, um, it's been kind of a quiet week for Madonna. Um, <laughs> she um, started her little mini residency at the Wilton at, um, in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, she's there for 10 nights um, from... Oh, who cares? Um, I think basically from now for the next 10 days, I think to the 23rd or the 25th. And she hasn't shown up super late. She hasn't um, abused any fans or insulted anyone. She's basically just gone on stage around 10.45. I think the first night she was there at 10.45 and she's supposed to be there at 10.30. So <laughs> 15 minutes, that's pretty good. Um, nothing much happened. I was sort of wondering. And then I saw some pictures and I'm like, I, I remember the tagline for Truth or Dare. In Australia, it was called In Bed with Madonna. But in America, it was true for dare on the road, behind, back, behind, what was it backstage on the road and in bed with Madonna, and then it was just called here in bed with Madonna. But um, Madame X could be called, you know, Madame X, you know, on the road, behind the stage, you know, in the ice bath and on the toilet with Madonna. It's just what, <laughs> what? Why am I seeing photos of Madonna on the toilet? Why am I seeing photos of Madonna supposedly drinking urine um, in a teacup? And um, I know why we're seeing photos of Madonna in an ice bath, because she's dealing with... Um, I'm not sure she's actually dealing with specific injuries and a knee injury and, and dealing with that, or if it's just something I know athletes do. Ice baths apparently are good for the muscles, and Lady Gaga was doing the same thing when she um, got picked up by that fan and then dropped off the stage. Um, so she's doing it to manage injury and um, some people were a little bit sketchy about it because um, hypothermia, um, shock, things like that, but um, other people think it's good for um, things. So she had a video where she's lowering herself into an ice bath and um, enduring that for a few minutes and then afterwards drinking a cup of something yellow which she says is urine but she could have been joking but I wouldn't be shocked. But what I don't understand is I mean, I know Madonna's a narcissist, I know she's um, an exhibitionist, I know she needs constant attention, I mean, that's part of the thing that's fueled her to stay on the forefront of media and and the industry for like 40 years almost. Um, I've lost how many, track of how many years she's been famous now. Um, she started in 82. 92, 2002, 2012, and yeah, it's about 37 years or something like that. Um, so I get all that about her, but I just, I'm not sure I need to see you on the toilet. Now, I think she did some photos another time of herself on the toilet. I think it was when she, I think it was after Rebel Heart with um, um, Merton, what's his name? Um, I can never pronounce their names, that, that, that duo, when she did, um, a, she went to their place in the middle of the night and they had a bunch of pictures. So I just don't understand what is the point of being on the toilet. I mean, I, sometimes I feel like Madonna has gotten so much acceptance on some level that she's just got nothing left to rebel against. She's just now rebelling against her fans in good taste half the time. Um, I mean, showing up late and bad-mouthing your fans and telling them basically they're lazy, they're, they basically, they should be up late, they should be able to stay up late with you, and that a queen is never, never late, and that sort of attitude I didn't like. Um, yes, I know I'm a whiny fan, who cares what I think, blah, blah, blah. But I just thought it was disrespectful, and you don't disrespect your fans. Like, what do you, like, and, and she has such an attitude about it, like, like they're attacking her or something. I'm like, what are you rebelling against? Your fans? Their expectations? Your, your job? Your profession? Your actual role? What you're supposed to do? Like, what is this? And then when I see her sitting on the toilet on Instagram or Facebook or wherever it was, I'm like, now, what, are you rebelling against good taste? I mean, I don't need to think of you peeing and pooing. I know you do. We all do. Everybody poops. We know this. And, I mean, I mean, what's next? Are you going to be showing yourself defecating? Are you going to be showing yourself wiping your butt? I mean, when you occasionally do it, I'm sure she eventually she occasionally does it sometimes. I'm sure she has other people do it most of the time. <laughs> I'm sure she eventually, like, actually has to do it herself sometimes, but is that what's next? Where we're going to see a stream of pee as well between your legs while you're sitting on the toilet? Or is this just being funny and just sitting on the toilet and not actually going? I mean, I don't get it. Why do I need to see you on the toilet? I don't get it. What? What? Is it purely just a matter of you're not supposed to defecate or urinate in public, so 
I need to do it because I'm not supposed to. It's that simple. Like, we, you've just got that little to do. You're that bored with touring that you have time to, like, pose on the toilet. No, <laughs> don't know what is she doing I don't understand um yeah so I just hadn't made a Madonna video for a while I thought god what has she has she done anything has she, she hasn't gotten in trouble for anything no one's suing her this week um she hasn't been late for anything she hasn't abused any fans or yelled at anyone or done anything diva-esque she just seems to have got finished her shows at um Vegas and gone on to Los Angeles and she seemed to be on stage on time and fine and then I just saw a couple articles and I'm like okay ice bath I get that Peeing? No, I don't. What? Drinking urine? No. I mean, I just... No, I don't know. I don't totally recognise this person anymore. I don't quite recognise this person who came back from Lisbon. And I kind of do, but I'm sort of like... I, I just don't quite get it. And maybe I'm no longer getting the joke with Madonna. But I'm not sure there even is a joke anymore. I think she's just kind of, just kind of there. Um, I, I think with her relevance... And because she's not relevant uh, commercially, so far as her singles and her albums anymore. Um, her out last album did okay, but not really. And that's partly the music industry and CD um, sales versus streaming and um, YouTube and all that sort of stuff. That's part of just the industry, but also part of it is just her kind of being retired uh, forcefully by um, the radio industry. Just the industry in general is just. They're not supporting her. They're just sticking with the younger um, stars, which is something that probably could have happened to her 20 years ago, but she managed to fight it off for this long. But um, I don't know. She just, I just don't get what is she about anymore. Like, what are you about, Madonna? And I hear that she there's a lot of political talk and a lot of speechifying in her show, but unless you're one of the few rich people who can afford to go to a show... Um, no one's really hearing it. I, I mean, if you have something to say, say it. Um, like, actually make it loud. Let people actually see it. Let people see what you're doing. I hear... I've heard two sides of the story on this show. One is that it's brilliant. It's reinventing theatre and concerts, and I really think that's an exaggeration and a PR thing. And Madonna, everything Madonna does has to be amazing and the best and reinventing something when sometimes she just does something conventionally well. And that's okay. It's okay to just do a good show and not reinvent the wheel. You don't ha it doesn't have to be the fans just come out and make up all this positive, fake news, and it's just kind of crazy. I'm like, just, just, just. She can just do a good show. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. It's okay. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know what she's about anymore. Um, and I'd like to know. I, I feel like I'm out of touch with Madonna. I feel like every, every now and again, I feel like. I don't know what she's on about. I kind of break up with Madonna. Usually when she's on tour and she's not touring my country, I get a bit bitter and salty and I kind of break up with her. Because I've been in a relationship with Madonna for like my whole life as a gay man. Um, and at the moment, I just sort of like, um, okay, you go off and do your tour thing and like come back with the next album and we'll see where we are. Because right now, um, I feel like Madonna was killed by Madame X, who's like a secret agent and she's like dead and Madame X is now on tour in her place. <laughs> That's sort of how I feel. Um, but, um, yes, I, I, I just, um, yeah, just, what's next? We've seen her on the toilet, what is next? In bed, backstage, on the toilet, what's next? I don't know. Is there anything next? Is there anything left? She's had sex in public, she's done everything short of defecating. Is that all we got left? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's ridiculous. Uh, it's funny. It's just, I don't know. I've talked too long. I just saw that and I thought, I have to say something, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, okay. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, abuse me, tell me I'm a horrible person. I'm not a Madonna fan because I don't love everything she does and praise every, every bowel movement. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.